Hi, Covies. Welcome back to another Engine Express coming at you from the sweaty, sweaty garage. There are people outside doing lawn maintenance, so it's too loud to open the door. I'm just going to be dripping with sweat, uh, as I already am here. But for today, got a quick little AMRAP, 10 minutes, then we're going to do a Tabata to finish off. So the AMRAP also includes an EMOM, which means that at the top of every minute, you're going to be doing a movement. In this case, you're going to be doing five burpees every minute on the minute. But you're going through this AMRAP for uh, 10 minutes. The first movement is a, a T push-up. So you're going to be doing six T push-ups, and I'll demo those. And then you're going to be doing six air squats with a leg raise. So the air squat and the push-up um, is the, the, you count the volume that way, and then you're alternating sides on the leg raise and or the T. Again, I'll demo everything so you understand exactly what you're doing. Um, and then the Tabata is 20 seconds on flutter kicks for round, uh, the even rounds or the odd rounds, however you want to count it. Um, and then sit-ups for the opposite rounds. So you're going to do flutter kicks for 20 seconds, rest for 10, 20 seconds of sit-ups, rest for 10, back to flutter kicks, etc. until you finish that four minute Tabata. And that's going to be it for today. So to get ourselves, ourselves warmed up, let's go back here to my favorite, sort of my go-to warm-up these days. Do our good morning hinge, tap our toes, and then reach. Go through a series of these. We'll do 10, three, four, five, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Go ahead, come down to a Samson lunge, press it up, and then back. Keep working through those Samson lunges for me. I'm trying to make sure my computer doesn't freeze this time as it tends to do. Let's do two more here. All right, now let's go ahead and find a wider stance for that air squat so I can use some air squats. And then number five, let's hold it at the bottom. Chest tall, drive your knees out. Heels are down. Go ahead and grab your right foot, twist it up. And come back to center. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side here. Grab that opposite foot, twist it up. Woo! Try to stay balanced in your tripod foot. All right, from here, I want you to come to tabletop and just give me some scap drops. So, kind of like a scap push up, except we're on a tabletop. So, we're dropping our shoulders, pulling our scaps together and then pressing down. Good, let's do two more. And then I want you to bring those knees up, come to the top of a high plank. We're gonna hold it here, build some heat. I want you to slowly lower down, hand release, push up. And give me two more, come all the way down, hand release, push up. And back down and release and push up. Good, stay at the top of that plank here. All right, you guys can come down to your knees. So for the T push up, you can do these on your knees and you can stay modified um, when you go into the side, when you go into a side plank, that's where the T comes in. You can do these on your toes. So what this is gonna look like, it's gonna be one, Open up, Ooh, try not to tip all the way back. Two. Three. Okay, so you're counting the push-ups, but you're gonna be going into that T uh, side plank position on your left side and your right side alternating for three each side, if that makes sense. So it's one push-up, T to the right, one push-up, T to the left. 
one push up, two to the right, etc. For our air squat leg raises, I know we're not completely warmed up yet, but bear with me. You're going to be doing your air squat, side raise, side raise, side raise. So again, six total, end up, it's going to end up being three on the right, three on the left. Then you're just rotating through those two movements. But at the top of every minute, you're going to hear a beep, which means you give me five burpees. So everybody go ahead and give me five burpees. All right, go ahead and give me three inchworms. Walk it out to the top of a plank, but we're not doing the push-up. I'm gonna save those push-ups for later. And then just walk it back. Okay, give me three total. So for this workout, I'm gonna talk while you guys do your inchworms. Um, if you are in the middle of a movement, which most likely you will be, you won't necessarily have finished your push-up, your T push-ups, but you're gonna go back and finish where you left off after that, those five burpees. So let's say you're, you've done three T push-ups. and it's the top of the minute. Do your five burpees and then finish your three T push-ups. okay? And we're just going for this 10 minutes um, on that 10 minute clock. So let's do a couple quick stretches before we get going here. Back to tabletop, I'm gonna have you guys come all the way down to your bellies. Arms are gonna go out, we'll go to the right side first. I know you can't really see me on the screen here, but we're gonna be in a twisted cross. So twisting over to the right side to open up that chest a little bit. And then go ahead and switch it to the other side. Good, go ahead and come on up. So if you need a little bit more time to warm up, feel free to pause it. Um, I'm gonna get this clock running here in just a minute. I'm gonna set it so that you can hear the minute, every minute will beep. Um, if you wanna do your own timer, if you use like a seconds timer or something, setting it for a 10 minute EMOM would work great um, because you'll hear that time every time that that minute starts, you'll be able to, you'll know when it's time to do your burpees. So that's how I'm gonna have it set up here. We're gonna, when you hear that last minute, that last 10 minutes finishes up, you just end wherever you are, um, wherever you are in the series of, in that couplet, the series of those two movements. And then we're gonna just jump right into that Tabata shortly after we finish. All right, guys, so express workouts, trying to get you done quickly, but again, if you need to take more time to warm up, take your time and then jump in with us when you are ready. this clock here we got 10 starting with uh, 10 minutes starting with the 60 push-ups then six air squat with a leg raise alternating those sides let's go 10 seconds three two one let's go Let's go. 
Five burpees. Bees. burpees. Burpees.
burpees. We got two minutes to go, guys. Five burpees. Guys, last set of burpees, last minute. Last 30 seconds. to freeze on me. So, we done. We got quick Tabata, flutter kicks and sit-ups. If you've got an ab mat, feel free to pop that one out for the sit-ups. Um, it's up to you. We're going to jump right in. So pause if you need to. Otherwise, we're off in 10 with those flutter kicks, guys. Flutter kick in. Three, two, one. Quick little ab finisher here. Arms can be behind your head, at your sides, above your head, or under your booty, wherever it feels good. Two, one, rest. You got an ab mat and you want to put it on, feel free. Butterfly sit-ups here, guys. Three, two, one, go. Flutter kicks. Quick 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. 
two, one. We got another quick round. Two more rounds of each movement. Two, one, flutter kicks. Almost done, guys. Two, one, sit-ups. Two, one, and we got one more round of each movement. 20 seconds of work for one, 20 for the other. Two, one, flutter kicks, last round. All the way through, guys, keep working. Three, two, one. Last round of sit-ups. Two, one. And that's it, guys. So Get you guys stretched out quickly. Get you out of here. So again, I know we kind of raced through these, hence the engine express. Um, if you ever feel like you need more time to get warm or to stretch out, always, always take that time. Um, I will uh, always be here, so pause it up and give yourself what you need. So first things first, let's get into a puppy dog position. Knees are right underneath our hips. Walk your hands out and sink that, that chest down. And then let's plant those hands and drop those hips. We can look up towards our ceilings. I'm gonna come onto my knuckles. Stretch out, give my wrist a little bit of a break here. Look over that left shoulder and look over that right shoulder. And then we're gonna go into a thread the needle, so right arm underneath the left. Keep those hips high on this one, hand, palm is down. And then let's switch other side. Come on up, go ahead and sit back on your heels. Get a little bit of a stretch through those quads. I want you to interlace your hands behind you or grab a towel or a jacket or something that you can hang on to. Press down, open up those shoulders and that chest. And lean back if you can, kind of continue to stretch through those quads. Let's release those hands. Come back into that saddle position if you feel good doing that. All right, guys, hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. Hope you enjoyed this one and uh, hope you guys will tune in next time.